Zaku Baruch. Zaz Shemi Chai is going to be today at 5.35. Please be on time. There's a question in Halakha, whether you have uh, two options. You're either able to read the Megillah of the morning, or you're only able to read the Megillah of the night. It's a, it's a situation where a person doesn't have a choice to read both. He either has to choose the morning or the night. What's an example of such a case? Let's say a person was put into jail and he asked for some time to go hear the Megillah and they said, listen, we're going to let you hear it once, but we're not going to let you hear it twice. So you have to choose. Which one do you want? The night one or the day one? What's, which one takes a bigger priority? The Alakha says the bigger priority, the bigger mitzvah is the reading of the day. It is considered more essential because it was from an earlier institution. It was Dibre Kabbalah versus the one of the night, at least according to some authorities, is a, is a derabanan, is a regular rabbinic uh, command. So since you have these two readings, one is rabbinic and one has an authority of like almost being something on the level of being from the Torah, so therefore the morning, which is considered to be the Torah-like reading, is a much more significant reading, and that reading takes precedence over the reading of the night. So if one has to choose between the night reading and the day reading, the day reading comes before the night reading. Of course, of course, that's when one has zero options. Otherwise, he has an obligation to hear both readings. There's no such thing as, I'll just choose this one, I'll choose that one. He has an obligation to hear both readings. Talking about an extreme circumstance where he's simply unable to do it, then the reading of the morning takes precedence over the reading of the night. Amen.